So I'm back on the Lyric. Took the Zebs off just before. I pulled them apart to service them. Give them a lower service. And the uh, there's a fair bit of misalignment between the uppers and the lowers. Whether it's a bushing issue or an actual make of the lowers isn't quite to tolerance issue. But it's pretty clear. I'll put the, I'll put the video up. So we've got the bolt nuts out. And... It still moves like there's a lot of friction in there. Separate them from the damper and the air shaft. So free moving, there's nothing but just the legs against the bushings and the seals. And that is super sticky. And then you pop past that first, uh, the, the lowest bushing. So there should be two sets of bushings in this fork. And I have to force it to get it back on. This air side leg moves outwards in order to align with the with the stanchion, the bottom of the stanchion. So you can see that there. Watch this. It widens to accommodate for the misalignment. The alignment of the stanchion versus either the lower or the like the casting of the lower might be slightly flexed in or the bushing is either misaligned or I don't know but that's obviously going to cause some wear a lot of wear let's open it up and have a look but um so back on the lyric just gave it a service no token b1 spring 104 psi uh i think it's going to be a bit much a bit maybe a bit choppy used to about 102 in this spring but 104 felt like it was where it wanted to be on the road so oh so smooth this lyric b1 spring is ridiculously smooth it's so silent whereas other springs are quite violent outside of a perfect setup oh it just feels butter smooth Fire smooth. Just gets out of the way, nice and controlled. I've got six clicks of low speed compression on it. Just letting me sing. Very calm. It's not perfect yet, obviously. Got to adapt to it and maybe find a find some weaknesses but it's good it's efficient smooth don't even notice most of these bumps I could probably go a clicker compression or slow the rebound a click just to add a bit of precision. So let's do a clicker compression. Not to stop it diving, feels good for that, just to control the fluttering a little bit. Yeah, it's good. Whoa. Have a look at it. It's just smooth, controlled, no fatigue. I'd say, yeah, the Zeb definitely gives you a more uh, pronounced feeling of stiffness um, as in just the overall chassis of the fork feels stiffer but the bump performance is certainly not on the same level certainly not it's calm it's controlled it feels killer i don't even know where i'd go with it yet maybe 
I don't know. Maybe a bit more compression again, but I don't want to start getting choppy. So yeah, one more click. So that's eight clicks of compression now. Low speed. There's no high speed on this. Still preset. Which I'd say is quite light. High speed compression tune on this. Select. Select plus. It's very light. Oh, the front brake is just not there for me. I think I got some grease on the way to the service. And now I'm kind of having to punch turns a little harder because I'm, I'm low on brake. Oh, I missed it again. I really need to cover that, that old line up to make it clear that the new line is the line. I don't even reckon I'm going to change anything. I'm going to go to four weeks and see how that feels. Because that's just so much easier, so much calmer than what I've been running with the Zeb. It's killer. So the reason I pulled the Zeb apart was it's either that spring has a very small negative air chamber. Hello. Thank you. Hey pups. That spring's either got a small negative chamber compared to the positive, or it was greasy, which I wouldn't really expect from rock shocks. But um, colour galas or cockatoos. So yeah, I got to the stage of checking that spring. I should have pulled it out and had a look, but once I realised how much misalignment was there I didn't even bother pulling the spring out but I do have a luft cap on the way for the Zeb which will increase the negative but it also decreases the positive by a fair bit looking at it so not sure maybe they've gone too big on the negative and sacrificed too much positive space because if you increase the negative you inherently need more positive space which if you're already running a heap of tokens is no worries so the zeb to get the zeb down to 20 percent sag i have to run three to four tokens for it to be supportive enough 20 percent sag on one token or no token or two tokens no token there's just nothing there no support one that's not that great either whoa whoops and two tokens is better and then three you start getting that support so but it feels more or less the same as the old a1 spring like the pre pre debonair like solo air springs on the old lyrics and the pikes and stuff so hopefully he's got the right balance there and i can chuck it in and it'll end up being no token or maybe a token I'd say it'll be an end up no token with the Zeb and closer to 20% sag which will give a great a great spring curve so that's a, just a little bit of reasoning behind it but so far this lyrics killer which I already knew it's always my go-to the B1 the C1 is similar to the to the Zeb C1 so not too much to say about that one Another thing to note is this service on this Lyric, I used Castrol Magnatec motor oil instead of the RockShox oil. So we'll see how that feels. So far, so good. Feels butter smooth. Really, really free moving. Maybe more free moving than the RockShox gear. I was put onto it by a friend, so yeah, he, he liked the improvement. So we'll see. So we had a pretty hefty storm just recently, so we'll have to keep our eyes open for any sort of debris and damage, whatever. It just tracks the ground killer. You can put it wherever you want and then just steer it away from whatever you don't want oh god it's so good this spring 
this B1 spring is the answer for sure. Woohoo! I don't care what the question is. There's so much confidence here in this spring. And I haven't even messed with the setup. I'd almost say, well, I know I need, I absolutely want a high speed compression adjustment. Look at that. Oh, get on the pinks. So this is super choppy and blown out. If you've ridden it lately, you'll know how, how rough that feels if your fork isn't absolutely dialed. And she's just singing across it. I'd say maybe I'm just, uh, I was gonna say just a little stiff, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I like the support, I like, I like the resistance, but the in and out of the travel, to me, is just a high speed compression thing. Oh, didn't make that. Oh, it looks slippery, but it wasn't. Yeah, we're just still in and out of the travel a little bit. But the, oh, the performance is killer. There's so much trust in it. It's just gone from so much time on the Z trying to get it right to strap it on and send it. And it's killer. So Lyric B1, definitely outshining the Zeb quite easily at the moment. Um, the Fox 38 outshines the Zeb for sure. That's got a, I think I'm into that spring. When the spring's serviced and it's not full of grease on the neg side, one token if you like them high, two tokens if you like it a little deeper in the sag. But damn, one token in the Fox 38 is quite a good spring. And then obviously you gotta know how to set your, your high and low speed Definitely your high speed rebound and high speed compression, obviously, but you gotta know how to set it all up. I'm impressed, I love this fork. I just wish I had high speed compression because I need one click more of high speed compression just to make the overall stroke feel stronger and then I can button off the air just a touch. So, but it's just smooth, quiet, handling everything. Can put it on whatever line I want. Um, it's just easy, so. Get it. And drop into Waterfall Gully DH and see how it feels here. So this will probably be more of a sight run because there was a tree down on this track last time I rode it, just re uh, recently. Oh, the fork is so controlled. Yeah, nothing gives me better control than this fork. Nothing. nothing it's so easy but you got to be careful because it'll get you get confident and tracks like this you got to make sure that you're you got your wits about you it's a little bit slick in spots like a little bit greasy but I think it'll be all right but yeah that's a little greasy there just gotta get Body technique and not lock up when it gets greasy or slippery. So the next left hander, there's a tree down, or was a tree down. Let's see. Just here. Oh yes, trail fairies have been at it, thank you. This will definitely be greasy through here because uh, it gets no sun. Oh, it's so, so easy. I should have just done the huck then. Oh, missed the line. Oh, 
Oh, oh. oh. coming a little sideways for that. No biggie. Drag the brake out of that exit, so it's no good for that hip. Yeah, I love this. Probably 103 I'd go to on this fork. Woo. Oh, hard bottom man and I didn't actually kiss the bottom. That's killer. This fork is perfect. Or very close to. As I said before, if I could get that high speed compression, I would be absolutely sold and never look for another fork. Unless I could get a coil spring in here. But that's incredible. That Cowtex 10W30 is probably playing a bit of a part, the Magnatec oil. I guess any good quality motor oil will do a good job. But yeah, there's nothing that outperforms that. No way, that is control. Go to woe. Just give me a little high speed. The reason I want high speed compression is I just want the overall stroke to feel a little stronger, a little bit more robust. Uh, if I go any more low speed compression, I'm starting to get into that low speed chop uh, direction. So I'm happy at eight clicks, even seven, even just down there, eight clicks. There's no dive anywhere, no token. Hair under 20% sag. We're probably looking at, yeah, like 18, 19% sag rolling lyric all day you can keep your zeb unless it's better after this uh, warranty 